What is up everyone? So in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up OBS with a USB 3.0 uh, capture card. I got this capture card from Timu. I bought it two months ago. I think I paid like $12 for this. Yeah, uh, around 12 bucks. I bought one from Amazon. I paid like 30 bucks, I think. And uh, I returned that and I went to Timu and I ordered this. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to set this up um, on your computer. So in my case, I have this gaming PC that I built um, not too long ago. I'm going to be using this to play, but I'm going to game on this. But usually when you want to record your gaming and you record it uh, through the PC that you're playing with, you can lose gaming performance. Um, recording uses a lot of resources, so OBS. And while you're gaming and you're recording, sometimes if you only have one monitor, you won't be able to see what you're recording so you're just pretty much praying that your recording is going well so sometimes when i have tried recording using older pcs i think newer pcs if you have a powerful enough pc you can do both you can game and record no problem but on older pcs i'm pretty sure this one will be able to handle it but i'm gonna do it this way anyways um if you're recording on older pc or a pc that won't be able to handle gaming and recording although it may look like the video is coming out great you're gonna see stuttering or um, hiccups just the video is not gonna come out good even though you're gonna be playing smooth uh, the video recording is not gonna turn out great depending on the settings you select so you got to test all those settings in order to get that right so for me I am gonna do it this way I've done it this way uh, a bit ago so I'm gonna just do it again um, I'm going to be using a laptop. This is what I'm going to be using uh, to record games from here. And I'm going to be using this, you know, this cheap 4K Ultra HD HDTV video capture card, USB 3.0. I don't know if it's true that this can do 4K Ultra HD. I don't own a 4K monitor, um, but I'm guessing that's just false advertising. And this can probably do max at good quality 1080p. 1080p 30 or 60. I'm just going to be playing on a 1080p monitor, so not a big deal. Um, this should be able to handle that. Now, in order to get this set up, you're going to need a few things. Um, if you buy one of these, I think all of them should come with a USB Type A, USB 3.0 Type A to USB 3.0 Type A cable to connect to the computer you want to use. This will power it up and send the data to. You're also going to need two HDMI cables, so one for your PC and then one for your monitor. So the way this is going to work is uh, on this little device, there's an input and an output. Basically, you're going to connect one HDMI to your computer. So your HDMI is going to go on your GPU. That cable will then connect to the input. And then the other HDMI you'll connect to your monitor and that will output to your monitor basically. And the USB will connect to this computer. That way the data can be seen through this cable to the laptop. So you will set it up like that. So let me go ahead and show you how to do that real quick. All right, so let me see if I can show you guys like this. This is the first HDMI cable. You know, plug it into your GPU. Like so. Alright, that's plugged in. And then that HDMI that you play that you just plugged into your GPU. So this one. That one will go to the input. Right there. I can do this. Perfect. That is your input. So that will be receiving data from the computer. So that will be input through there. And then you want to use your other HDMI. You want to connect one end to the output here. Cool. And then the other end to your monitor. This ASUS monitor is pretty neat. It does rotate and it gives you enough space to plug it in the back. 
so right there cool that is all so now you have like HDMI connected to your monitor and one to your PC and they're both connected to the capture card all right so that is that for the HDMI that's all set up now now we just have to power this and receive data so we're going to connect the USB 3.0 cable and you want to make sure that your laptop or if you're using a like a PC another PC supports USB 3.0 you're going to be sending a lot of data through this cable and you want to, uh, it to be received uh, on your laptop so hopefully this one has a USB 3.0 cable or port let's see yep see that that port right there is blue so I'm just going to plug this in cool the laptop recognized it so you hear a little uh, Windows sound and then on this end you're going to see a little light right there so you got blue lights meaning that it is connected now when you do it this way when you have this powered on with the laptop this display will not work it will not display if the laptop is turned off or asleep it must be sending power to the USB 3.0 cable in order for the PC to recognize or the monitor to recognize if the PC is on all right so let me go ahead and show you what happens if your laptop or a PC that you're connected to is powered off it will not display the display will turn off because this will no longer be receiving power so as you can see we are getting a signal to the monitor so this is plugged in correctly HDMI to input and then output the other HDMI to the monitor and then let's see all right so I'm gonna power this off shutting down shutting down and there you go monitor is now off it will no longer be receiving power right now it's still shutting down cool watch that all right as you can see the monitor is now uh, in hibernation mode I think and there's no signal detected because you need the laptop to be powered on for it to to get a signal so if you if anybody had that issue before there you go I had this problem too where I had it this way and I would turn on a PC I had, I had a, a different PC I would turn it on and I would get on display and I had to buy I bought a new HDMI cable because I, I swapped these it didn't work I um, try a different monitor nothing try a different GPU nothing and then I turned on the, the laptop at the time that I was using um, and then it displayed so that is something you have to be aware of when if you, if you do uh, plan to keep this like this for a while so I'm gonna turn the laptop on again it will power on and also the monitor that's connected to the PC there you go Acer and there you go monitor is powered on awesome cool so now let me go ahead and show you how to connect um, the uh, capture card to OBS connect the microphone connect the camera so I'm gonna be connecting this uh, webcam here to OBS and show you guys that okay cool so OBS is now opened hopefully you can see the settings alright so um, this is I'm a basic you know I, I, my, my knowledge is basic on OBS I'm not a professional at all <clears throat> so if I do something that uh, you know there's a better way of doing it I you know I'm telling you now I I'm not sure exactly how to fully use this uh, software I'm still new to this but <clears throat> let me go ahead and show you just what I do to set this up so I'm also going to connect I'm also going to connect my microphone here so I got this five fine microphone here that I'll be connecting to and also adding to OBS all right cool so First, we're going to add our screen capture. So we're going to go to the plus here. We're going to add source. We're going to add video capture device. 
and then you can rename this whatever you want so I'm just going to keep it as the default video capture device and I'm going to click OK and then here already it's detected device it's always going to be called well not always but usually it's going to say USB video or USB 3 video something like that um, so for us it's USB 3 video and we're going to go ahead and click OK and then you can see it is already um, showing the display right there next up you're going to add your microphone well let me change this to me alright so microphone it's already picking up the laptop's microphone uh, but <clears throat> I don't want to use this so you can actually change this if you go to settings and you go to properties and then up here there's going to be a device selection it's default which is the laptop microphone you can switch that to whatever microphone you want so for me I'm going to be using the five fine microphone I'm going to click that and then I'm going to click OK and now the sound will be coming from or be input from the microphone so if I mute this there's a mute button here now you can see that there's no activity and if I unmute you can see that now there's activity cool so microphone is not connected and the last thing would be the audio from this PC so you do want to also record the audio from here you want to go ahead and add another scene and go ahead and add and then we're going to go to audio input capture I'm just going to leave it as a default so I'm going to press OK and it's always going to be default but you're going to change that to digital audio interface USB 3 point or USB 3 digital audio and I'm going to click OK cool now in order to test or to see if it's actually working just open up a video on YouTube or a music or something like that it is playing so you can see it's running 18 19 you can also see it here so if I move the mouse you can see that the timer is running and to see if it's actually picking up audio you can see audio input capture is running I'm gonna pause the video right now and it will stop so it is capturing the audio now there is one other thing that you might want to do um, so I'm gonna be using headphones and uh, I want to be able to hear the audio that's coming from the laptop or the computer so I'm gonna go to these little three dots here and then I'm going to go to advanced audio properties and we're going to go to audio input capture active so audio monitoring what you want to do with that is you want to put monitor and output and that way if you plug in a, if you plug in your headphones or a USB headset to this laptop you'll be able to hear that through it so let's see if I can change the audio let me go ahead and show you that now so I'm gonna go to my audio settings open volume mixer sound settings you can't hear anything now because it defaulted to the microphone for some reason but I'm gonna go to my speakers and as you can see we are listening to the sound that's coming from this computer on this laptop through this video capture card and then just to show you I'm gonna pause the video all right so I increase the volume so you can hear that cool I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video and then the audio stops so that's just proof that it does work there's no trickery here all right so the next thing you want to do is if you want to add a camera all you have to do is go to the plus add scene you want to go to uh, video capture device again and then video capture device 2 default and then instead of USB 3 you're going to click on Osbot Me 2 stream camera which is the little camera that I have you're going to click OK and okay cool 
cool so that's me right there recording with my phone <laughs> but then you want to uh, make this smaller for your videos so you just make it this tiny and as you can see now you have your little camera your face and the background and the video you're watching and uh, that's basically it and there are a few other things you can go to settings um, you can you know change your video quality and video settings here so if you go to video right here you definitely want to change this I don't know why I defaulted to uh, 853 by 480 but you want to change this to the resolution of your monitor which is for me 1080p where you do 60 frames if you get trouble like weird uh, slow video or choppy video you want to change that to 30 but I'm gonna try 60 we hit apply and then you also want to go to output and then your recording down here is like the quality of your recording D depending on the storage you have and the quality that you want um, for me I always go for indistinguishable quality large file size um, and MKV and for video encoder I'm gonna go with hardware because I do have a dedicated GPU so I'm just gonna go with hardware and yeah that's basically it just like the basics basic that I know I'm just gonna go ahead and click apply okay and yeah that's that's all that's all you have to do um, with this capture card your OBS is now set this is the bare minimum bare basics that I know about OBS um, and if you're new to this like me or you were new to this like me well there you go you got all your, your audio your mic microphones input audio all that cool stuff so you can play games or react to your videos stuff like that awesome well that's all for this video if you have any questions um, any if I did anything wrong or if there was an easier way to do this for sure let me know because this is just me what I figured out on this troubleshooting it took me a long while to actually figure out how to get audio to come out to the laptop because I had my headphones connected to the PC and it wouldn't send it was just a whole mess but after a lot of troubleshooting I figured that out and thankfully now I can play games and upload it to my channel and others and other you know other other videos anyways uh, thank if you, thank you guys for watching my videos see you guys in the next one